Hi, welcome. In this video, we will solve the following problem. Suppose Z is standard normal random variable, and let us suppose that this capital Phi denotes its CDF. We are asked to find the distribution of capital X, which is equal to Phi of Z. Now notice that since Phi is a CDF, so no matter what input you are going to provide to phi, the resulting output will always be between 0 and 1. So this random variable phi of z always take values between 0 and 1. We are asked to find the expectation of x. So in order to find the expectation of x, the first thing that we are going to do is we will find the distribution of x and then we will find the expectation of x. So since we already know that phi always take values between 0 and 1, so we know this random variable capital X always takes values between 0 and 1. So let us find the value of the CDF at any number little x in 0, 1. Yes, by definition, the CDF of capital X evaluated at little x is equal to probability that capital X is less than or equal to little x. Now we are going to replace capital X by phi of z. Okay. Now since phi is a strictly increasing function because z is a standard normal random variable, we can write this event as probability that z is less than or equal to phi inverse of little x. So this is just a number and we are interested in finding the probability that z is less than or equal to phi inverse x. But this is nothing but the CDF of Z evaluated at phi inverse X. And we already know that phi is the CDF of Z. So phi of phi inverse X is the result. And the value that we want to get, if we want to apply phi to phi inverse X, will be X. So what we have here is the following that whenever X is between 0 and 1, the value of the CDF of x evaluated at little x is x, which tells us that the PDF of x is 1 when x is between 0 and 1 and 0 otherwise. Okay, so this tells us that x is uniform, 0, 1 random variable. So once we have found the distribution of x, we can easily find the expectation of x by integrating 0 to 1 x times the density which is 1 0 to 1 okay, so what are we going to get we are going to get half that's how we can find the expectation of x 